What's going on? Welcome to today's video. Kyle here from Colossus Fitness and today we're going to be giving you five surefire ways to get better workouts, better pumps and overall better results in the gym. Let's waste none of your time and jump right into it. So jumping into it, tip number one, it does seem quite obvious but a lot of people forget this especially as you kind of get used to going into the gym and working out consistently. Mind muscle connection is absolutely huge and basically that's when you connect your mind to the muscle that you're working. Okay, A lot of times you'll find as you get used to things you'll just kind of like start repping it out, not really thinking about anything, but when you actually take time to really slow it down, focus on squeezing the muscle and literally connecting your mind to it, you're gonna be able to just get way better control, better contractions, and especially if you're working out from home, you can use lighter weight and still get great results. Mind-muscle connection is huge and it's our number one tip for better workouts. Tip number two is to utilize negatives in your workouts or at least be aware of them. You know, if you're a powerlifter, you might not be doing really slow negatives on your squats, your deadlifts, because you're looking at power, but if you want to increase the intensity of that workout, be intentional. Don't just do a curl and drop the weight. You know, curl, really control it on the way down. Make your muscles work to lower that weight intentionally and to do it with stability. By just dropping it, you're not working that eccentric portion of the rep whatsoever, and you're missing out on half of the results. Number three is to know when to increase your weights. It's very important you increase your weights to therefore increase intensity. You can either increase volume, duration, or load, and increasing load is one of the easiest ways to make those workouts harder. Saying so, you wanna do it safely. That's why for my clients, I program using an RAR system, which helps them know what weight they should be aiming for and how many reps in reserve they should have at the end of their set. As you can also see here, I'll do a lot of percentage-based training where you plug in your numbers and you have a periodized, daily underlying periodization protocol to kind of make sure that you're increasing your strength over time in appropriate phases, you know, like progressive overload, volume overload, heavy load introduction. And by doing it this way, you can force yourself to that accountability to make sure you are increasing those weights. And number four, this one's super important. It's to know when to actually ask for help. Now, obviously at different parts of your journey, you might realize that you want to ask help for someone to help you program, to help you hold you accountable, and even maybe for nutrition to help you get better results in the long run, okay? So obviously we've helped literally over a thousand people to date basically through programming, nutrition, and accountability, and literally so many people have come to us and they said, hey, I'm just not having the best workouts, I'm not getting the best results, and that's where we come into play. And we can program efficiently based off of everybody's goals, restrictions, past training history, um, essentially even the stuff you have access to, whether it's an at-home program, whether it's a dumbbell-only program, we will take care of you. So don't think that you're too good to get help, and a lot of times most people don't get the results they deserve because they search on Google for a powerlifting workout or a bodybuilding or a fat loss and they end up following something that's not created for them. Of course you're going to get results maybe for a month or two, but when you do need help and you're at a sticking point, even clients have come on board and they've said, wow, I've literally never gotten such a better pump. I've never gained this much strength and this overall will help you get way better results in the long run. So basically right now, DM, um, send us a message uh, basically on our website, apply now. Three people who are looking to get next level results, we will accept you if you're the right fit and uh, we look forward to helping you out. Last but not least, number five, my personal favorite is to set challenging goals to hold you accountable to your ambitions. For me, that's been powerlifting competitions, physique competitions, as you can see, we've done it all. Challenges between me and Kyle, personal strength challenges, as you can see here, hitting my all-time squat and deadlift, hitting these crazy lifts. By having these big ambitions, you're gonna put in that work day to day to make them happen. And don't get too caught up on just, I need to achieve this goal. Focus on the 24 hours in front of you and make each day count. Treat each workout like it might be the last workout you ever have and use it to build towards that goal and achieve your full potential. And before we close out here, if you like our YouTube videos, you're gonna love our podcast. We have put our heart and soul into making incredible episodes. Two episodes a week, a Motivation Monday, as well as a Tip Thursday, where we just go into detail about a tip. So if you want an amazing podcast to help improve your fitness, health, and happiness, check out the Fit, Healthy, and Happy podcast. Search it in any podcast listener or click the second link in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. Smash like. We'll see you in the next episode.